All right. What's up, y'all? This is Osiris, and today we're uh, Feral Interactive released F1 2015 for Linux. So we're going to take a look at that. First impression time. Uh, and I have no idea what I'm doing, and I'm bad at Formula One, and I know nothing about Formula One. So with that in mind, let's go play. Uh, the game does work with the Xbox 360 controller, which is what I'm using. does work with keyboard and mouse and does work with um, USB steering wheels. Uh, works right out the box. No issues there. I don't know. I don't know. So as you can see, the game's running just fine. I have an i7 with a GTX 780, uh, six uh, the i7 is 6 cores, 12 threads. Uh, we will take a look at the system requirements in just a second. Let me get a lap or two in here. As you can tell, the game eh, runs fine. No, no big deal here. Uh, you will need a modern or current or a uh, semi-current gaming PC to play this on. No uh, potatoes allowed. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm terrible at this. I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to be driving on the red and white bars. But that's all right. That's all right. Oh, my God. Oh, I don't even know what this guy is saying. I'm assuming he's the pit boss or whatever. Like I said, I don't know anything about formula. So please excuse my lack of Formula One knowledge. All right, so yeah, the game runs. Everything is great. Uh, quit the main menu. Let's take a look at uh, what will you need to run this game? Uh, so, uh, yes, the game is out today. Uh, this is, uh, $54.99. And the, uh, minimum requirements will be Ubuntu 16.04 Steam or Steam OS 2.0, 64-bit, of course. Uh, Intel i3, uh, or a AMD FX 6300. The minimum of 4 gigs of RAM. Uh, you will need a, at least a 1 gig NVIDIA 640 series or higher. Uh, with driver version 36.19, 364.19, or later, 15 gigs of disk space, and as an additional note, AMD and Intel GPUs are not supported at the time of release. The NVIDIA requires at least driver version 364.19. Uh, so keep that in mind. Those are pretty, uh, you know, if you have a gaming computer, quote unquote, you should be able to run this just fine. Uh, but do keep that in mind if you buy the game. Uh, la, la, la. So let's take a look, or let's, let's talk about what the game is. Uh, Formula fans, Formula Racing fans will probably already know. Uh, but you can play the 2015 or the 2014 whole seasons. Uh, both of them. Take part in most inclusive F1 racing experience featuring a naturally authentic, purely physics-based handling model with enhancements and the additions in over 20 areas. Uh, it does support keyboard, as I said, keyboard, mouse, I mean, keyboard. Yeah, keyboard, mouse, Xbox controller, or steering wheels. Uh, you, it is cross-platform, so uh, if you have friends on Windows who play this game, you can indeed play this game with them if you're on Linux, no problems there. So, yeah, this is our first impression of uh, F1 2015. I will be uh, digging a little bit deeper on uh, into the game as the days go by, I, I mean, I'm playing several games. I'm still on this Stellaris, and I've got some other games that I can need to take a look at. But uh, yeah, uh, we're gonna take a, look, a closer look at this game as the days go by and, and see what we can do. Uh, if there is any issues with the video, it's not the fault of the game. The game runs perfectly fine on my system. I'm just having some video issues today. Don't ask me why, just am. Uh, but two thumbs up to Feral Interactive. First, this morning we got the Tomb Raider, Tomb Raider 
uh, big update, patch update that fixed a lot of performance issues. And then we get Formula One 2015. Uh, today on May 26, 2016. Two things, one day, Linux Gaming. 